Welcome to part two of our video on the sand particles. We're going to be setting up the planes and the cubes so that the sand will flow over them. I'm going to press zero on the number pad to zoom in to our sphere here. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is right click on the top plane and we've got to set up the properties on it. So go to the logic button or hit F4 and we're going to change this so that the object type is a rigid body we want actor selected and bounds and we're going to do that for the second plane rigid body actor bounds and we're going to do the same thing for the cube once you have that set up go ahead and click back on the first plane and we're going to go um, into object mode again or you can press F7 and this time we're going to select the physics button. And under physics, uh, you have fields and collision. You're going to select the collision tab and then click the collision button. We're going to set up the particle interaction and the dampening. Dampening takes the motion energy away from the sand particles and it slows them down when they collide with the plane. So with the first plane selected, you want to change the dampening. We're going to move it to 0.8. And then under soft body and cloth interaction, change the dampening to 0.8. And we're going to repeat this for the other plane. So select the second plane, click on collision, change the dampening under particle interaction and under soft body and cloth interaction. Change it to 0.8 and then do the same thing for the cube. Once we have that, we're going to save. So go to File, Save As. We're not done yet, we're just going to save our work. Okay. And then with the cube selected, I'm going to open this back up. You're going to click on the Fields tab. And under Fields, there's different field types. This will affect how the particles flow. I want you to select Harmonic. And then um, under Strength, let's put it at 0.8. and then press alt a and try it out it may r run a little slow the first time you do it after the first time it should speed it up but what you should get is you should see the sand particles flowing off of both of the planes and then flowing off of the cube when you have this going you can go ahead and get my attention and I'll come over and if you have this done I uh, will give you a hundred at this point okay I'm gonna hit escape If you finish before the end of class, go ahead and try out some of these other field types. You have wind. Um, you can set up um, the different properties on them. Magnetic. You can set up the direction of the magnet so it'll pull, the sand particles will pull to a certain direction. Uh, basically, just go through these different field types and try them out. Um, and then when you're done, make sure you have it saved on mag magnetic. And that's it for the sand particles lesson. Thank you.